flying saucer. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta get my saucer on. <laughs> they are the frantic voices of parents calling 911 to report a child lost in the most unusual way. Okay, I, I can't understand what you're saying, ma'am. Does he know how to work the flying saucer? <laughs> A sobbing father pleading with operators to help him find his son, who he believes has floated away in his experimental balloon. Okay, how long has the six year old been missing? Um, just a few minutes. Um. Was well, the flying saucer in the backyard? Yes. Okay, does it, it obviously has electronics where so he can know how to work it and he gets it up off the air, off the ground? No, he doesn't know how to operate. He does not know how to operate. So, and that's gone though too, right? So we are sure that he's in that. Yeah, we we looked everywhere, and then my son just said, "Be verified." He said, "Yeah, he went inside just before it went off." They did. We had it tethered. It wasn't supposed to take off. Okay. And was it running then? Well, it doesn't run. It's it's, it's filled with helium, and it operates off of a million volts to uh, move left and right horizontal. Hearing those desperate voices, it is hard to imagine what happened in the skies above Colorado yesterday was a hoax, a publicity stunt. But many believe the evidence of that is mounting. Take the 911 call itself. It turns out the family called police only after they called a local television station. Three, two, one. And what about this home video taken just minutes before that 911 call? With the family's oldest son behind the camera, the Heenies gathered in their backyard to test whether that balloon would rise. It did. So much so it came loose, much to the displeasure of Dad. Taylor! You didn't put the Taylor in the house! I did! What do you mean? Richard Heaney launched two into an expletive lace tirade. Skeptics wondered why does this family seem to tape everything? And do Dad's over dramatics look a tad like an audition? Oh my God, that thing's gone. For yet another reality show. The Heenies from Colorado. I mean, I'm a damn good father, and I'm getting pissed off that this is making me look like I'm pissed. Remember, this is the family who appeared not once, but twice on the ABC program Wife Swap. My parents are not really strict. I don't think it's right to hold back the child's energy. And the tabloid website TMZ is reporting that for months, Richard Heaney has been in touch with television producers, trying to sell them on a reality show about a family that's a bit out of the ordinary. Heaney even tried his hand at making his own show called Richard Heaney, Science Detective. Hi, I'm Richard Heaney, Science Detective. Still, it's not the actions of the father, but the words of the son that really got skeptics' attention. Last night on Larry King Live, six-year-old Falcon Heaney, the boy who hid in the attic for hours while the world worried he was on board that runaway balloon, said this about why he kept hiding when he heard searchers calling for him. We did this for the show. All for the show. What did he mean by that? Was he talking about that reality show Dad had supposedly been trying to sell? When the family appeared on all three network morning shows and anchors asked about Falcon's comments, the six-year-old actually vomited. First off camera on Good Morning America. Is he okay? Is somebody going to go with him? And then again on camera on the Today Show. That's what he was referring to. It was all enough to make the local sheriff curious enough to reopen a case he thought was closed. Tomorrow, his detectives hope to interview Falcon's parents for a second time. For now, the sheriff says he still believes the family. We believe at this time uh, that it's a, a real event. Uh, pe certainly people are free to speculate. But the court of public opinion seems to have made up its mind. Talk radio in Denver sounds like a broken record. He should be charged with something. Hmm. I mean, this guy seems to be a complete moron. It seems like there's a lot of holes in this guy's story. Which may explain why this sign popped up on the Heaney's front door late today. No more interviews. We are tired. The sign neglected to mention the family does have at least one more interview scheduled tomorrow with detectives who will be asking if what happened was real or reality TV. I'm Ryan Owens for Nightline in Fort Collins, Colorado.